The ugly truth about small business is that the American dream can be a nightmare. Don't get got. I'm your host, Ruth King. What if your whole life, all you wanted to do was play football or be a doctor or have some other goal? Then you play football and when it's done, what's left? You start a business and you go bankrupt. How do you recover? How do you create success? How do you not give up and keep going in the face of failure? My guest today, Marquise Ogden, has done all that, from football star to failure and back. Here is an incredible story on The Ugly Truth. Marquise, welcome to The Ugly Truth. Hey, how are you guys doing today? We're doing well, thank you. And you're doing good too, I assume? Yeah, not too bad at all. Well, very good. So you grew up wanting to play football, and you got to play football, and then what happened? When I was playing football in high school and high university, I was very lucky I got drafted to the National Football League, spent six years in the NFL, had a great time, made some great friends, everything from there was great. So after you hear no so many times, what keeps you going? The fact I knew my story would be good, and also I look at people like Tony Robbins, Les Brown, you know, The Rock, Steve Harvey, they've all been through a big struggle, or I call the FAIL acronym, but they keep pushing forward. So using those people as my inspiration, I kept pushing forward on everything I was doing as a speaker. All right, so now you're speaking a lot, and now you've got the story to tell, and now you're back on your feet, I assume. Yes, all yes. Right. I'm back on my feet. You know, I. Uh, my bankruptcy is just about almost discharged. Uh, we're, buying our, uh, we're buying a home later this year. Uh, been very successful with our academy, so things are looking up. Again, it was a very ugly, hard road travel, but it's on the way back up for sure. All right, so besides the foundation for the National Football League, who else did you lean on? My wife. Uh, my wife was an integral part of my success. She helped me to kind of stop feeling sorry for myself and push forward. She said, Everybody has a problem, so why do they want to hear yours? So <laughs> when, I, when I started doing that, I started taking accountability. And my tagline is, I inspire you to take accountability. So you can be successful and kind of work through your problems to kind of push forward in your life. Got it. So